tonight as the draft gets underway in New York. Now, neither local team holds a first-round pick, despite both the Nets and the Knicks missing the playoffs this year. However, the Knicks still managed to grab headlines, making a big splash with that trade for Derrick Rose yesterday. Reese Davis and company set the scene from Barclays. Really that awesome cool. moment yeah. for yeah. that young man to be lifted there in the parade. Very cool. JR. Winning, winning. People's winning. champ. Yeah. Uh, they estimated over a million people showed up yesterday, which we just said 1.3. Good math there. Wow. JR and company, if you've never been to Cleveland, check out this map. Which Goomunder being Goomunder. <laughs> 8.35 years Sports Center AM continues. we got some new news coming in this morning. The Giants of San Francisco say they are open-minded to pitcher Madison Bumgarner taking part in the Home Run Derby. He recently met with Bruce Bochy, the team CEO, and the GM to let them know his desire to be a part of the real derby, not a pitcher's Home Run Derby. Okay. Because I think that's been discussed recently. Right, and right. Your rea you were like... Yeah, I think that's awesome. Puppy dog. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right, from City Field to the original Shea. On this day, back in 2008, it was the Mets opposing pitcher stealing the spotlight. Yeah, after a rocky start to his fourth major league season, Felix Hernandez was turning things around and suddenly coasting to his third straight double-digit win season. But at the dish, the king was inexperienced. Right, played in the American League. He had just... Play this morning. There you see him. Get oh, ready my. To go. Oh. 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 He's, got, he's already got the jersey. <laughs> he's got the jersey ready to go. We're going to talk to him in eight minutes. He will also have Brett Brown and Brian Colangelo yeah. throughout the morning. Kevin, we will see you in, in just a few minutes. But first, we are going to get you up to date with the trade that Simmons led LSU in scoring rebounds, assists per game, but he really lived in the lane. That jump shot basically non-existent. Three Three-point attempts all season, just converted only 31% of his jump shots. What's the likelihood that he can be a prolific scorer? To be, which is an all-time great, a top-five player in the NBA, and lead them to the promised land, he's going to have to develop that part of his game. Maybe not necessarily a three-point shot initially, but he's going to have to be more consistent 15- to 18-foot jump shooter because teams think he can. His mechanics look like they're good enough. And as you mentioned, it's a full-time job now. He doesn't have to worry about class or anything else. He can just be in the gym all day if, if that's what it takes. Tim will be back with us next hour to break down the newest addition to Hollywood and what the addition of Brawl Pick. We welcome back NBA analyst Tim Legler. And what's the biggest hole that, that the Lakers need Ingram to fill coming in? Focal point offensively, it's going to take time. This kid's 18 years old. I mean, he will not turn 19 until September. Wow. That's a lot to put on a kid. Lisa, they can hope to improve on what we've seen in the last three seasons because those have been the worst since they moved to L.A. Tim, thanks so much. Oh, yeah, the heavy hitter. Big swinger, Dan Levitard. Oh, yeah, the heavy hitter. Big swinger, Dan Levitard. I like how you just dropped that and tried to move on. Yeah. Like, and just drop like, this huge bomb. And then, oh, well, anyways. They're yeah. like, well, hold up. Uh, little Zach, like Zach Morris timeout. Like, hold on, <laughs> let's talk about this for a second. Uh, the Bulls were winning titles at that point. Yeah. They were in, what, the second of three in a row? It would have changed that, point, so. that story. Mm. Hmm. As for the trade that did go down at the draft last night, let's take a listen to the reaction as 